Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Sand Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Sense. I'm having a hair experience. I haven't been on here in a minute. So let me see if I got anything interesting to show you guys. Not in that bag. Okay, so I am here with a haul, I guess, because I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I got. Maybe I should start off with the sneakers. So, quick story. I had, my old sneakers were like destroyed because I had them for a while. And I threw them out and I meant to get new sneakers, but ended up buying like a really cheap pair of like $5 sneakers that were on clearance in like Dwayne Reed or something for the summer. You know, like those ones by, called like, not Hula Hoop. Something hoop, I forget. So anyway, I was going to the doctor and I was leaving the doctor. And as I was crossing the street, this car came speeding towards me. So I put my foot forward to leap and run. And I twisted my ankle because I was wearing junky sneakers. So I had, I did go to urgent care. It's not broken. It's not uh, fractured, but it does hurt still. And the first thing that I did was I went to the Skechers store to get myself some good sneakers because my ankle, my it's really my heel, hurts without the support more than it hurts with the sneakers on because the sneakers at least hold my foot the right way. Anyway, Skechers store was having a sale, buy one, get one 50% off. So this is the pair that I've been wearing. It's black and it has like this almost floral, can't really see it, floral design. This is a size... Uh, I don't know, what size is this? This says Skechers coated memory foam something. I don't know, it's some kind of, I don't know if it's even floral. I've been wearing these for a while and the bottoms aren't even really dirty yet. I think it's a nine and a half, it might be a 10. No, I think these, these are a nine and a half. So these, have really been holding my foot very supportively. So then when you go to the Skechers store, look, you spend so much money because even buy one, get one 50% off. Two pairs of sneakers came out to like almost a hundred dollars, but you know, anyway, so they give you this like drawstring, really nice bag. And <clears throat> this pair that I'm going to show you now is actually the first pair that I saw and that I really liked. This is Skechers Los Angeles Air Cooled Memory Foam Skechers Street. I've never had sneakers this color. What color is this? Like a rose, a copper color? I don't know. These are a 10. I know I got these in a 10 because for some reason, I don't know, sometimes they run every style. That's the thing with shoes. Every style runs different. So. The color doesn't really come up that great on the camera, but it's this like dusty rose kind of color. So I haven't worn those yet. See? <coughs> Can't get rid of this cough. So I had bronchitis and then I had bronchitis. I wonder which pair was more expensive. And then I took the medicine, I stayed in bed and whatever. For some reason, I just couldn't kick this cough. Yeah, so the, I think these are the, one of them was $62.99. I think that's the, the rust color one. And so then that made the other ones that were $69.99 31.49 so it came out to i saved 35 dollars. it came out to no it says i saved 45.50 it came out to 94.48 so anyway <clears throat> i went back to the doctor i forgot where i was i did the meds i did the rest and whatever and i just can't seem to kick this cough so i went back to the doctor and he said i still have some bronchitis left so he told me I should use my inhaler and then he gave me a, a, another inhaler to take as well. 
and he told me to increase the amount of cough medicine that I was taking. And then he also, he didn't give me antibiotic again, but he gave me the prednisone, the steroid to do again every day, one pill every day for 10 days. So hopefully I'll be able to kick this cough and hopefully my ankle, my, I keep saying my ankle, it's really my heel, it's really my heel and the side of my foot. Anyway, I got some stuff from Shein. I didn't place a huge order, but I did get a couple of things. I love this skirt. It's a plaid, this is plaid and it's a high low skirt. So it's high in the front and, and long in the back. So I really like these plaids, especially for fall and winter. Then I got this shirt, which I already wore. What size did I get? This is a 1X. This fit me pretty well because I keep getting sizes that are too big. <coughs> so I'm going to say this is like a peplum blouse, but anyway. It has these, like, it's like a peasant blouse. It has these poofy, poofy arms. It's this eyelet material. Why can't I put this the right side? Because I wore this. That's why it's inside out. Okay, so it's an eyelet material. So you do have to wear a black bra with it. And so it has does have a plunging neckline. And then the sleeves are like these rouged, ruched sleeves, I guess. And they're, they're puffy. Yeah. So then I got this. So now keep in mind what this looks like. This is flat, flat in the front. Then I got this other one, which has got like a knot in the front. I haven't worn this yet. This probably, I don't think the neckline is as plunging. This is a similar style. It has the eyelet material. It has a knot in the front. This has shorter like winged sleeves instead of like the, the rouged sleeves. I got this skirt, I got it too big. I thought it was gonna be, because it didn't look stretchy, I thought I, I should get like a 3X because I think I'm so enormous. And um, it's this, has a slit on the side, it's this vinyl skirt, it's too big. Um, it falls down a little bit on me, so. And then I got this blouse here, <clears throat> similar to one that I hauled before that I really liked that it was almost like a, a mini dress, but this has like, see, it has the, the V-neck with the thing and it has this black trim. So that's everything I got from, <coughs> um, from Shein. <coughs> Let me show you some movies. I don't know why <clears throat> I had this desire to watch these movies that I haven't watched since the 80s. I've been watching Beetlejuice over and over again lately. And I guess that kicked up my Michael Keaton uh, desire to watch Michael Keaton. I haven't watched this movie, I think, since I saw it in the movie theater when it first came out in the 90s. This is uh, Multiplicity. And I haven't watched this in forever, but the basic premise is this guy doesn't have enough time to do everything. This Andy McDowell plays his wife. He doesn't have enough time to do anything, do everything. So he makes <clears throat> a clone of himself or he has a clone of himself made. And then two of them is not enough to get everything done. So then he makes a third and then the clones make a clone of a clone. And then he turns out to have special needs because they're like, you know, when you make a copy of a copy, it's not as good as the original. <laughs> I forget how it turns out. I Like I said, I haven't watched it in forever. They even parodied this on a Treehouse of Horror Simpsons episode. So, Multiplicity. And then this other one. This used to be on TV like every weekend. This is a Steven Spielberg movie. I didn't even know it was Spielberg. This is called Inner Space. It's with Dennis Quaid and Martin Short. When I was a kid, I used to love Martin Short, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, all those people. So, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so he's... No. They don't even tell you on the back what it's about. So, this is the basic premise. Dennis Quaid, he plays, I don't know, like, is he a scientist? He's part of this scientific experiment. I don't know what he technically, his title is in the movie, like his role. But as a part of a scientific experiment, they're supposed to shrink him down to molecular size 
and inject him into a rabbit. And then he's supposed to like float around inside the rabbit and show the scientists like all the workings of the inside of the system of the rabbit and everything. But instead of getting injected into the rabbit, he gets injected into Martin Short. And then the whole drama of the movie is like he only has a certain amount of time where he's going to remain molecular or he's going to just enlarge to human size. And if he does that while he's in Martin Short, that's not going to be a good thing. Like either they're going to enlarge him and he's going to explode Martin Short or he's going to stay tiny forever and float around and die in Martin Short or whatever. So I don't know. Inner Space, like I said, it, every weekend I think it was on TV. I saw it so many times that I got sick of it, you know. Anyway, <coughs> let's see what I got. <coughs> let's see what I picked up at Walgreens. They have these on sale again. I've been, I'm almost done with this. I absolutely love it. And I'm not a moose person. Uh, these were on sale, I think, for $7 each. This is the cake. This it, well, it did say cake Barbie, but now it doesn't say Barbie. But it's still in the Barbie packaging. So this is cake, uh, the curl whip. The curl whip mousse. And I really love it. And then I thought they didn't have it anymore. So I was going to get this. This is the Tresemme. My mom likes this brand. Extra hold mousse. 24 hour touchable hold and volume. So I figured I'd try the Tresemme to see how it compares to the cake one. Because <clears throat> let me tell you, even if you shake this up, when you squeeze it out into your hand or whatever, it is a little, I don't want to say sticky, but droopy. It's not like a a full puffy kind of foam it's kind of like um like cake batter kind of you know it's not like it's not puffy puffy foam so then i picked up another one of these i've been dyeing my hair this color for the longest time now i think this is my fifth time this will be my fifth time dyeing. now i got gray again but i really do love this color i fell in love with this color and this is the garnier um nutrice ultra color and this is r2 goji berry this is a great color for, uh, it says bold, ultra intense red, even for dark bases. So, you know, like if you have dark hair, my hair is naturally like mousy brown. Um, it doesn't really hold the color, but for some reason it will hold that color and it will turn red. <clears throat> I needed some razors. So I got the Gillette Sensor 3, um, there's four in here. I think they were $9 for four, which is not bad for sensitive skin. So I was like, I asked the girl, should I get sensitive or forget what the other one was? I forget. It was something similar to sensitive, like hyperallergenic. I don't remember. So she said, get sensitive. So I got this one. So that's what's in that bag. I really suggest you guys try the cake um the curl whip so let me put that away i did get a shirt from five below <coughs> i wore it already i think it's i it's in the laundry somewhere you can find it online it's really cute uh it's an alien hitchhiking to mars so he's like it's an alien and he's like on a planet and it says to Mars and he's like hitchhiking. Oh, by the way, I have gotten a lot of nice compliments on this shirt. This is the on Wednesdays we wear black with Wednesday Adams. Now watch, I've messed up my camera. Why did I, why did I do that? Why? So yeah, it's the on Wednesdays we wear black. Okay, so what else did I get? I got to move this way because when you don't have bags, they give you handles. So I had to get some toilet paper. And then I got these pads. These are, I know, TMI for you men watching. This is the always with the flexi wings overnight pads because it's not that time of the month yet, but it will be at some point. So, and I told you I prefer... <clears throat> 
the overnights in the box. I don't even know what the difference is between the overnights in the bag and the overnights in the box, but they were buy one, get one 50% off. And for some reason, I think the ones in the box are better, but they did have the period underwear, which I've reviewed. They do have this in the box. The biggest size that they make is large, extra large. And that's a little bit small on me. I'm wondering why they don't make extra large one X, but then I'm thinking to myself, maybe the always company, well, maybe they do make it at this store. I don't know. This store just doesn't carry it, <clears throat> but I doubt that. I think what they think, because I was thinking about this in the car. I think what they think is that by the time you start to get large, you've already gone through menopause and you're not getting your period anymore. So that's why they don't make underwear for us mature women. We're not, no, because I haven't, I'm no, I'm nowhere near menopause and I would feel more comfortable with a one X because what if you got a big booty, you know, they want, everybody wants the super size booty, right? People going to get Brazilian butt lift and doing squats and everything. So you can get this huge booty, big booty is not going to fit in this size. So yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. I got more wipes. There are three packages in this package. This is the Pampers Sensitive. There's 186, no, I'm sorry, 168 wipes. Do not flush. These are the sensitive ones. I am always using wipes. And then I got this because I have a, a cut. I have to put this on my doctor recommended. I got the Aquaphor. I got the one for babies. I don't know if they make Aquaphor healing ointment for adults. They probably do, but I just saw this one first. So I got the Aquaphor for babies. And this says for dry chapter, irritated skin, hypoallergenic skin protectant. This was expensive. This is like $13 for this, this little thing. And then like the, the one that comes in the tub, that's like the Vaseline size tub. It's like $23. Ridiculous. <coughs> so that's what I have to show you for now. I am going to have some lunch. Oh, let me show you something else. I was looking for sugar-free, <coughs> sugar-free cough syrup, not cough syrup cough drops and they only had them in lemon but i was able to find them in cherry in a two pack and it's these have you guys seen these these are hall's minis right hall's minis this is sugar free and it's a mini it's this let me show you it looked like it looks like a tic tac can you see them Right? So you think, oh, well, that's not going to help me. But this, this little teeny ball here, it's just as strong as a full-size cough drop. And it lasts just as long as a full-size cough drop. And it actually feels pleasant texturally in the mouth. I know that's weird. But, and it's like convenient little tiny size. This was a really good find. If you guys are looking for sugar-free cough drops and it doesn't even taste sugar-free, I recommend these. They're strong and they're really good. There's 24 drops in here. It comes in a square, <clears throat> like a square box. And there's two packs in the square box, which I'm not going to go find the big box for you. But you look for a black box and then there's two packs of these in there. Um, so, yeah, really good stuff. And that's all I have to say about that. Malcolm has been playing with his favorite toy right now, which is this elephant that I bought him a long time ago. But now he's obsessed with the elephant. Go play, Malcolm. <clears throat> you know, Malcolm will be 11 years old this November. <clears throat> that is right. Malcolm will be 11 years old this November, which means he will be 77 in dog years, which means he will be the same age as grandma. Can you believe that? Anyway, yes, he is my best buddy. He's my co-pilot. So that's going to conclude this video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. You all have a blessed day. Yes, I did go to church today. You have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.